Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1224. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1222, we talked about how to go from a column filled with numbers and text values and get rid of the text values and add just the numbers. Now in that video, I showed you how to do sum product and substitute, and there was a couple awesome other solutions that were given. And if I expand this down here, one was sum product left len and this sum product left and search. Now, right off the bat, there's a bunch of ways we can decide which formula to use. Now, in terms of efficiency and speed at which the formulas calculate, we'll go over to this sheet over here in just a moment and calculate on a large data set. That's definitely one way to determine. Another way to determine which formula to use is how fast you can time, type it out. Another way to look at this is, hey, here we have two functions. So we're making two calls to the functions. Here we have one, two, three. One, two, three. Still another way, since this is an array formula, is to say how many array operations are there in each formula. We'll see that there's two in this formula and four in each one of those. Ultimately, with big data sets and array formulas, that's something that really slows down the calculations. And when we go in time, we'll see the difference between these. Now, the first formula, we needed to get rid of the kg. So if we use the substitute function, I could say, hey, find all of the text. And this is a function argument array operation. I have just put not one item into the text argument. I put that many. As soon as I do that, I'm telling substitute to spit out many different answers. So a function argument array operation. That's array operation number one. Comma, the old text to find is in double quotes, kg in double quotes. And the new text, we want to substitute nothing in. So we we'll use the syntax double quote, double quote close parentheses. Now, if I highlight this and hit F9, F9, it spits out many answers. That's array operation number one. Now, notice there are text items, not numbers, because substitute will spit out text. Control Z. So we have to do a second array operation. I actually have to do some math operation to convert those text numbers back to numbers. I'm going to do plus 0. That's the second array operation. And we'll actually look at formula evaluator and count how many times it has to do array operations. In essence, that 0 has to be added to each one of those items. If I hit F9, there's the result. Control Z. Now I can simply put it inside of sum. Not sum, but sum product, because sum product has an argument called array one that can handle this array operation without any special keystroke like Control Shift Enter. All right, so we Control Enter and we get that answer. Another way to do this is to say, hey, I need the left, because I'm noticing that the numbers are always to the left. There's the text. I'm going to give it a bunch of items. This is a function argument array operation. I'm telling left to calculate a bunch of different answers comma, and then the number of characters. Well, in case I have different size numbers, which I do, I need to determine the length of each one of those cells. Text argument and length is expecting a single item. We're given a bunch of items. That's the second array operation. Close parentheses. Now, the length won't work. I need to say minus 2, and that's the third operation, because len will spit out a bunch of answers. And then subtract 2, we'll subtract 2 from each one of those. The num characters here, and if I hit F9, you can see those are the lengths for each one of those from the left. And finally, you know, you can't do F9 twice in a row in edit mode, or it hard codes them in there. So I'm going to Control Z close parentheses. That's one, two, and then if I highlight this, this would be the third. There's all of the numbers as text, and then I have to add 0. So that's the fourth array operation. Now I'm just going to put this in sum product, and so that will add. And we'll run formula evaluator and watch 2, 4. And this one, I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to take this Control C. And instead of in Instead of doing a number of characters, that I'm going to do search. Now, search, I need to find the text K. 
So it'll search through here and find the position. So there's the find text, comma, within. Here I'm doing a function argument array operation. I'm giving search a bunch, so it's going to spit out a bunch of answers. Close parentheses. That's not going to work because it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need to subtract 1. So here we have one function argument array operation, another one from the search, another one from the minus 1, and another one from the plus. All four of them get the same answer. Now let's click here and go to Formulas. And we're going to go to Evaluate Formula. You can use the keyboard Alt-MV. And let's just watch this. I'm going to either click with my mouse, Evaluate, or hit Enter. So there's one array operation. You can see it gives us all those answers. And then here's the next one with the plus 0. So my guess is that if we time these, two array operations would be a shorter time than four. However, you do have to time because you never know. There are some weird functions and algorithms that Excel uses. So sometimes you can be surprised. But guessing, I would say, there's two array operations. So this one will probably be faster. Now let's do this Alt-MV. And I'm going to hit Enter. We could see the len right here is about to do a function argument array operation, Enter. Now I need to subtract 2. That's the second array operation. Now I need to do the left. That's the fourth, the third array operation. Now I need to do the add 0. So that's four total array operations. Over here, Alt-MV, there's the search, Enter. There's the minus 1. That's the second array operation. There's the left. That's the third operation. There's the plus. That's the fourth array operation. Now, escape. You might think that these two will calculate the same because they're actually four array operations. But notice len and search are different functions. The code that's running underneath uh, Excel for each one of these is different. So you never know until you time. In fact, you never even know. Sometimes maybe it's substitute that's that has a ridiculously long algorithm. So now let's go over in time. All right, now I've already come over here and created a data set, control down arrow with like 130,000, control home. I also have some code here. Charles Williams, Excel MVP, has an amazing add-in for timing formulas. I have a little button here to time in. I've gone ahead and created that formula this formula and that formula. This is the, the some product left search, some product left len, and some product substitute. Now I've timed each one 10 times. It looks like the average time for some product and substitute was 0 0.06572. The average time for the some product left len was 0 0.07394. And this one was 0.10675. As a percentage, if this is the smallest, there's zero change. This has a 12.39% increase. This one has a 62. Now, if you follow my Excel videos, maybe you've seen some of the statistics ones. You can run a test to see if there's a statistically significant difference between 0 and 12.39. I went ahead and did that. And it turns out that there is a statistically significant difference between these. Just looking at them, 12%. If your workbook's filled with lots of array formulas, that stuff tends to add up. So that was a little fun with how to build various different array formulas to calculate the same answer, looking at different functions how many array operations each one has, and finally, timing to see which one is calculating the most quickly. All right, we'll see you next trip.